What's up guys, how you all doing? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we are here on a new game on Roblox, it's called Anime Realm Simulator. And yeah, we're going to be checking it out, seeing if it's any good, is it maybe the next big simulator on Roblox, and as well, just like it says in the title, we are going to be going from noob to pro. But quickly before I jump into today's video, just want to quickly say, if you do end up enjoying it and want to see more, then feel free to join drop a like and sub down below and also whilst you're down there feel free to join my discord server it is going to be linked in the description and yeah apart from that i think that's everything that i have to say let's jump right into this so first things first let's quickly figure out how exactly this game works so if i quickly start clicking on the screen no i'm not going to be getting any energy so this isn't like one of those energy simulators instead it's going to be based on i guess damage only now if i were to walk up to let's say this chuckles over here and started hitting him we are going to be doing 25 damage per click and then as we take him down he will be dropping us some yen which probably can be used to open up champions right over there let's have a look at this and see if we can actually do anything so starting off this is kind of like any other egg we have the comments raging up to the mythicals and these are all of their chances to get them so let's quickly open one and let's see if we can get anything rare maybe the mythical maybe the legendary let's see no it's going to be a common but i guess that's fine for now since i'm sure we'll be able to get some of the rare epics or legendaries in the near future but anyways moving on from there we also have some other machines and as well some npcs to talk to let's see what this roofy wants so hey adventurer can you help me defeat some chuckles and then he'll give me some xp and 15 gems which at the moment i have absolutely zero clue what exactly these are and what they give but i guess for now we can confirm it and then we can complete it whilst we do the other world tasks now what about this upgrade station over here can we do anything here um upgrade attack speed okay so this is where we can use the gems and i guess this is going to be kind of like a skill tree at least that's the kind of vibes that is giving me and yeah these get really expensive 1250 gems and yeah the most in the hundreds and thousands but i guess for the time being we can start aiming for these champion star which will give me plus one champion open then also magnet and then as well champion damage all right not too bad at all we'll definitely come back there when we have some more gems and speaking of gems we also have a gems defense over here which i guess is going to be no i i don't know actually i really don't know what this is oh wait actually never mind I, now that i'm seeing the picture over here i'm pretty sure this is just going to be kind of like a protects the crystal game mode and currently at the moment there are two worlds there's the diamond fortress and then i guess the desert village which will probably be like the second harder version of the diamond fortress and obviously if we have any chance of winning those we are going to be needing a pretty op team so let's quickly equip our heroes and then let's start taking out more of these chuckles so then we can complete the world task and as well the ruffy quest which probably will take quite a while so let me just quickly start taking out all of these enemies and then i'll cut back once we have completed the majority of the quest and then we'll move on from there see what we managed to get and then i'll showcase everything so yeah see you guys soon and okay there we go a few minutes later and we have now completed a bunch of these world tasks so let's quickly start collecting all of them there we go there we go just like that and nice we now have 515 gems along with 14,000 yen now that's pretty good but we can still get even more since the next quest is going to be making an upgrade so let's just quickly unlock this one i guess attack speed for 80 gems and nice it is now four and then we can claim it just like that now the next quest is going to be wanting me to complete some of these ruffy quests which i already did like a few seconds ago let me just quickly claim another one and see if that will do anything uh, complete the mission and come back later okay and then it's going to be wanting me to defeat some surf locks. okay but before we do that i did also get some other stuff whilst i was taking out the enemies uh these two items right over here a walk speed orb and a magnetic orb now i guess these are going to be kind of like the potions that we normally see in simulator games but instead of potions they are balls now that's pretty good i guess i'll be using them whilst i grind a little bit later but now that i have a bunch 
bunch of yen. I do want to get back here and start hatching a little bit to see if maybe I can get some rares or above. Since I'm not sure what exactly you can use yen on apart from hatching eggs. And I know that there is another banner but this is kind of like gems only. And I guess these are going to be like percentage pets. So for example this one would be 50% as strong as your best pet. This would be as strong as your best pet. But as I said before that's going to be costing us gems. So let's just quickly put on the auto for now and then let's see if we can get something good and nice there we go we managed to get two roughies around three hatches in let's quickly stop and actually have a look at the pets since i did actually forget to see how good they are for example these roughies are going to be giving us 10 damage at level one and compared to my arenas for example yeah it's a pretty significant upgrade so let's just quickly equip both of them just like so and nice when it comes to taking down enemies i am pretty much covered but before we start continuing the main quest line i have noticed that there are some things around the map for example we have a boss over here which is going to be dropping us some of these orbs along with other things um i guess these are going to be like skills or abilities some potions um a different kind of yen currency and yeah it seems like they're going to be getting rarer and rarer however the main issue about this is that he has 70k hp and if i just walk up to him right now am i going to be doing any damage um no not really it's probably going to take at least a solid 20 minutes to take him out so i guess i'll be back once i have a stronger team now moving on from there we also have the portal over here to nimbus island and this is going to be costing us 65k yen which actually isn't too much i mean we managed to get 14k uh, in like five minutes on the easy guys so if i take out some of these stronger guys for example the gankers or the what's this guy's name anna lord then it should be much easier to get the amount of coins and as well it does seem like there are more npc quests around the map as well for example there's this arena which if i quickly talk and claim uh, it's going to be wanting us to defeat stronger enemies instead of i guess what ruffy would be making us do so yeah you kind of get the idea more quests more taking down enemies more money so i guess for the time being what i'm going to do is let me start finishing up all of ruffy's quest then as well i'll start working on arenas too and then i'll cut back once we have 65k yen to unlock the next world and then i'll maybe try taking down the big kaido boss a few times see if we can get one of those skill looking items and then i'll showcase that to you guys and then let you know if it's worth even getting and all right we are now back after around an hour or so and i gotta be honest we have made quite a lot of progress for example if you have a look over here at my champions i have gotten a bunch more epics and as well i managed to get one legendary and as well one mythical and just look at its stats 282.5 damage that's insane and if you include the total damage that my whole team does i have been able to take down a bunch of these kaidons and then i managed to get as well some of these powers over here for example if i quickly head on over to this flamingo and press z as you can see, it is doing a bunch of mini punches, which are doing a ton of damage. Same thing for the X move. If I just do X, it's doing like 150, 150 really fast. But anyways, let's move on from there and head on over to the Nimbus Island. So let's just quickly press E and let's teleport on through. And nice, we now have unlocked a bunch more stuff to do. New champions, new upgrades, and as well a golden machine. Now, I guess this is going to be kind of like the shiny machines as we've seen a lot of other games uh, let's just quickly select all of these uh, select four champions okay are we going to be needing 10 total yes we are and then i guess once we make him a gold champion he's probably going to be doing around 10 times more damage at least that's what i'm going to assume but i guess we'll find out later on now apart from that what i really want to do is i want to head back on over to the first world and more specifically right on over to this gem defense since if i'm not mistaken this is actually a great way to grow grind out gems but i might be wrong i might be misled by the name completely but i guess we're going to be finding out right now so let's just quickly select diamond fortress just like so uh let's set the difficulty to easy at the moment why not and these are all of the rewards we can get actually you know what let's do medium since i'm feeling pretty confident so let's just quickly start it and i guess we're going to be doing a little bit of an animation and there we go we are now in so this is going to work just like I thought, pretty much there are going to be enemies coming from either three directions that they can come from and my goal is going 
to be stopping them from reaching this crystal. I know, wow, this is actually pretty difficult. But then again, it might just be because I'm like solo. Since I'm doing quite a lot of damage. And oh, nice. We managed to get whatever currency that is. We'll quickly have a look at that later. Now, I don't think I'm going to be able to progress anymore in this gem defense. So I guess for the time being, yeah, I'm about to get defeated. Let's just leave. Now, although we lost absolutely miserably, there is something that I did learn from it. Is that I have a lot of grinding that I need to do. I need to get much stronger and then I guess the final goal for this game would be being able to complete either a medium mode uh, gem defense or hard mode or maybe even something higher than that. So let's just do that right now. So starting off we are going to be making our very first golden since yes I have hatched a little bit so let's just quickly select 10 of these just like so and craft and nice we have made our very first golden hero and okay it seems like when you make one it is going to be approximately double the damage which is pretty okay but unfortunately it's not really that good at the moment but then again it's still at level one so i guess for the time being i'm just going to decrease my damage for a little bit and once i get it to level four it should be twice this then apart from that we need to start working on these upgrades since they are definitely going to be really important when it comes to grinding so let's just quickly start selecting a few of these important ones such as uh extra damage why not uh this is going to be costing us 1.3k which is pretty expensive so i guess that means we need to start working on this world's quest so starting off with gokan he's going to be wanting us to defeat 20 Psy Bombers, which shouldn't be an issue at all. I mean, they have quite a little amount of HP, only 46.2k. Uh, the boss of the previous world had like 80k, so yeah, it's like half the HP. So this quest should take no time at all all now i think what i'm going to do from here is i'm going to quickly speed run through all of these quests of this world then unlock the final world the chakra island and then we'll have a retry of that wave defense see if we're able to defeat it so then i'll be able to say that i've gone noob to pro in this game so yeah see you guys in probably a few hours and okay we are now back on the final world on anime realm simulator and i gotta be honest that didn't take that long at all i mean it's only been around 45 minutes to an hour and we've even started working on this world's quest now in this world we did unlock a brand new machine which i haven't touched yet it's called the passives machine and if we quickly have a look at it and let's say we select uh this vegeta over here uh, we can roll a passive on it and it's going to be one of these in the index ranging from the rarest one being cosmic power at 0.001% all the way over to the most common one being rich one at 10%. So yeah, without further ado, let's see if we can get something good on this Vegeta. Uh, come on, come on, at least an uncommon. Ooh, ooh, stop, 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 stop. Yes, we got leader three. Wow, 0.4% on my very first roll. That's pretty lucky. Now, what is this going to give? Plus 25% damage. Wow, that's absolutely amazing in fact instead of amazing it's perfect since that means we're going to be doing much better when it comes to the gem defense so you know what let's quickly hop in one so let's set it to friends only let's make it easy and let's start and there we go we are now in um i'm not going to be commentating the whole time since you know it's going to be just me fighting waves so instead what i'm going to do is i'm going to be doing a short time lapse now during this time lapse hopefully i'm going to be able to win like i i think there's a final wave at least i guess we're going to be finding out and yeah once either i lose or i win i'll cut back and then i guess we can say whether i've gone noob to pro so yeah let the time lapse begin
And okay, we managed to get to around wave 20 or so, and I gotta be honest, that took a long time. Like, I'm not joking, I was literally in there for like 20 to 30 minutes straight. And I gotta be honest, it was kind of getting very repetitive and a bit boring, so maybe in future updates they could make it where it's just a little bit faster, because just staying in there for so long is just really difficult and i don't know in my opinion the rewards compared to the time you have to put into it just don't really seem that worth it but hey i did manage to demolish all of the enemies in the defense which means we went from noob to pro now yes i know there is still a lot of work that needs to be done if i do want to get maxed out for example there's still a bunch of upgrades i need i still need to get the best pets but i think i'll be leaving that for the next video now if you do want to see me play this game once again you know exactly what to do hit that like button hit that subscribe button with notifications on and also feel free to join my discord server it is going to be linked in the description and yeah apart from that that's everything that i have to say i'll see you all in the next one peace out everybody